Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can transition from being a business analyst to a product manager. As a business analyst, you're probably focused more towards execution to understand what's out there in the market, make recommendations to the business, and also work closely across some teams in order to improve internal processes. While a product manager is a leadership role focused on customer and building products to solve a problem, he focuses on establishing the vision and building the product roadmap. If I were to trickle down the responsibilities of a BA, you're currently looking at the market, figuring out what What's out there in the market formulate ways in order for our business to improve based on your research you also work with internal team to figure out gaps in our processes and then work hands-on with these teams in order to fulfill these gaps in the process you also do some documentation and drive the entire thing to completion your goal is merely to make recommendations get buy-in and then drive these changes what if i told you that a product manager is also responsible for some of these responsibilities so as a business analyst you already have some part of product management management in you but there are certain gaps that we can address and fulfill in order to make you confident when applying for product management job basically you need to upskill in tech communication skills pm fundamentals and build a proper product mindset in order to help you in product management interview and during your job as a product manager so i've made a list of six things that can help you fulfill these gaps so let's get started just a quick reminder to subscribe to this channel for the best product management content i'm very actively available across instagram and youtube so you can either add a comment or directly DM me on Instagram, I'll be more than happy to resolve any of your questions. All right, let's get started. So number one, learning tech fundamentals. There are five things you need to learn very well. What are APIs and SDKs? How a software architecture looks like? So what is front-end, back-end, database? What is SQL and how to run queries? As a BA, you may have some knowledge given you might have created certain dashboards in the past. Number four, agile development process. What happens once the requirements are handed over to the tech team? The requirement comes in. There is a discussion in order to figure out if the requirement makes sense. Once the requirement is accepted, the development begins. After development, there is a post-development testing. Then the change is deployed on staging. Then there is a user acceptance testing and then the change goes out on production. You need to be aware about what product manager does on each of these stages. And finally, building user funnels and learning some tools. If you want to know each of these in detail, there is a link to the video in the description. Number two, start learning PM fundamentals. You need to be very clear about what a vision is a product roadmap and the goals that a PM tries to achieve with the product itself. You need to learn about the teams that a product manager works with, their responsibilities and the goals that they're trying to achieve. Number four, you need to learn about product management tools. You need to know what Jira is, what wireframing tools are, what confluence is, etc. Number five, you need to learn about PRDs and user stories. What is a PRD? What are the components of a PRD? So what, why and how are the things that you add in a PRD? What is the impact of what we're building? How are the users currently solving this problem? How will we solve this problem? How will we know the success of the feature or a product? Finally, you need to learn UI, UX fundamentals and certain growth frameworks in order to become like an end-to-end -end product manager. Now, both of the above points, the technical and the PM fundamentals are technical skills that you need to learn. Number three, soft skills. So you need to have great interpersonal and communication skills as a product manager. You need to understand the stakeholders that you're communicating with. You need to understand their responsibilities and learn customer empathy. Number four, product and growth mindset so when i talk about product mindset understand the why and what of the product then how of the product think about why a customer will need this certain feature what is the kind of impact your product will have when building the certain feature next think about growth mindset think about user acquisition revenue and monetization whatever feature or product you're putting together does it have an impact on either of these metrics number five learn customer centricity speak to customers focus on their pain points and build insights if possible jump to product demos, do customer discovery calls, speak to support sales and marketing teams to gather feedback on the product. And number six, finally, help your product manager. Take basic things off of a product manager's plate. Help them with PRDs, customer research, and getting insights from dashboard. This will not only help you scale as a product manager, but also give some confidence to either the PM leadership or a product manager that you are geared to take certain responsibilities in absence of a product manager. Now, once you have these skills figured out, what are the things that you should do in order to transition into product management? Number one, ensure that you have all the relevant skills as a part of your resume, so market research, requirement gathering, streamlining internal processes, collaborating with stakeholders, fulfilling gaps in businesses and product, documenting and implementing changes. These are all the responsibilities of a BA that you already have. So ensure that you mention all of these in your resume because a lot of these things a PM is also responsible for. Number two, start by asking for an internal transition instead of finding a job outside. A lot of transitions into product management also happen internally. 
So if there is a new product line that is being built, see if you can join that product line as a junior product manager or a product manager. If this does not work out, start applying for PM jobs outside your company. Be well prepared for PM interviews. The questions that will be asked in PM interviews will be to test the gaps that currently exist in your profile. For example, they may ask you how would you build a competitor of Grammarly? What are the important metrics of an API product? Orders dropped by X percent. How would you go about it? So these are the type of questions that are a combination of both tech. and business and the interviewer will try to figure out if you upskilled yourself with respect to certain tech or product related concept top 10 pm interview questions there is a video on top 10 pm interview questions if you are interested be sure to check that out finally be obsessed to break into product management don't focus on getting a job in a huge tech company focus on getting a pm job even in a startup most of the product manager learning happens in the startup and it's a great place in order to learn and grow as a product manager so consider applying and getting into a startup then gunning for huge tech companies this will improve your chances in order to transition into product management and this is going to be it if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel sharing this across with a ba friend and also dropping a like on this video if you are interested check out the whole pm playlist i'll see you in the next one